on, we're gonna have fun today. We're gonna learn how to paint these giant eyes on your face. Oop! You paint them over the eyelids, as you can see there. Anyway, grab some different eyeliners or face paint, and let's have fun. Let's get going. Your eyelids are going to be your canvas. Okay? The bottom of your the eye that you're drawing is going to be start right above your top eyelashes. So begin by drawing a thick black line with makeup eyeliner and you're going to just trace it along right above your top eyelashes and you're going to bring it out on the side there. Liquid eyeliner would be easier, but this is what I had in my makeup bag, so <laughs> this is what we're using today. So just a nice thick line all the way out, and then make it connect in a curved line to your eyebrow. Now you're going to go to the other side of your eyebrow and bring it down to the line you initially started and you're just going to make this line nice and thick. Draw it up into your eyebrow. Now draw a dark arched line that's congruent with the top line and make it connect on both sides. This will be the eyelid of your giant eye. So now do it to the other side. Alright, now I'm going to draw in the center of the eyelid the, a big circle. You'll notice that I don't do the entire circle. The top of the circle is cut off by the eyebrow. What we're drawing now is the outline of the iris. And then, of course, what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, after you're done drawing the iris, we're going to draw little triangles right inside to outline where our highlights are going to be. If you look at your eye in the mirror, there's usually ref light reflected in it. So that's what we're drawing right now. Sorry, my toddler just knocked the camera. Let me move it back. Whoop! There we go. Okay, we'll finish this highlight over here. And then move on. Okay, now let's draw the pupil. The pupil is the black center of your eye. So we're going to do a circle within that bigger circle that we already drew. And we're going to go right around the highlight. So don't color in the highlight make sure your circle stops around it. So once again, do that to both eyes. Just color that right in so it's nice and dark. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, now we're going to color in some white liner around the iris. Now you can do this with your eyeliner. Mine broke off, so I just grabbed a paintbrush stuck it right in that eyeliner and I'm painting it right around. Which actually turned out to work pretty nicely. Then fill in those highlights with the same white color. Now we're going to color in the colorful part of the eye. You can do whatever color you want. I'm going to do a mix of silver and blue and green. So right now I'm laying down some bluish silver at the bottom of the eye below the pupil. Then I'm going to bring in some light sparkly blue and I'm going to go up along the side of the eye. Now you want to get softer eyeliner. The softer you get, the better it goes on. 
If you need the skin to be tighter so that it's easier to draw, and just lift up the skin above the eyebrow. Now I've got some darker blue that I'm going to bring along the other side of the eye and color that in. I'm pulling down her eyelashes to help me get the skin tighter on that side. So I'm doing it on the side of the, the bottom of the other side. Now I'm going to pull in some light green and I'm going to fill in the rest of the areas that haven't been filled in. Now. Um, one of the tricks to blending this eyeliner is just to pull the colors into each other. So I'm laying down the green, but I'm, I'm bringing it into the blue a little bit so that it blends. So I'll just go ahead and fill in all the rest of that color of the eyes. Now I am just going to touch up some of the black areas that kind of disappeared either by my finger rubbing them or the other eyeliner rubbing them. So I'll just darken up some of those lines. Now I am going to color in the eyelids. And I'm going to pull back her hair a little bit. I've got some dark brown that I'm pulling in. And I'm not filling it in completely because I want to add a little bit of white to give it a little bit of highlight and I'm just using the darker brown as depth. So I'm coloring that mostly on the sides with a little bit in the middle. Then I'll just bring that white in that I talked about and fill the rest of that area in. Again, I am pushing the colors into each other so that it blends nicely. I don't really want to see any definitive lines except for the black outlines. Okay, now let's add some eyelashes. We're going to start on the bottom and we're just going to wisp out some lines, make them thicker toward the base of the eye you've drawn and then it will taper off into a point at the end. And we kind of want to make this look like it's flowing into her natural eyelashes. You see that? So do that to both sides. Now let's create some upper eyelashes. I'm just going to do a few dark ones much in the same fashion that I did the bottom ones where it's thicker on the bottom and then gets thinner but I'm going to do a kind of in a swooping motion you see that so it goes down and around and then up again and comes to a point that's pretty much it and then you know just take your pencils or face paint or whatever you use and go touch up whatever areas you want touched up. Woo! There she is. Let's zoom out. How fun is that? Ooh, a little creepy when she opens her eyes and she's got double eyes. But now you see what she looks like with her eyes open then she closes them and wham! She's got the world's biggest eyes. <laughs> She tilts her head from side to side. Let me show you what it looks like when she moves her eyebrows around and scrunches her face up. Those will give her lots more expressions. One sec. Check this out. So she scrunches her eyes a little bit. Oh, lifts her eyebrows. She's surprised. She's just making different facial ex expressions. We're experimenting, having a good time. <laughs> surprised ah oh shock <laughs> oh my gosh I love it so much thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and 
Also, share your projects with me on Her Art from the Attic's Facebook page. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We have lots of fun here. See you next time. Oh, join my Instagram too. Bye.